to pray for us this morning. Amen. I pray that's right where you are. This prayer may meet you this morning. Amen. Let's hear a prayer right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Great God. King over all kings. Mighty God. Sovereign God. Ruth and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Hallelujah. God, we worship you today and we lift you up. We magnify you, Lord. Almighty oh, God, Isaiah saw you high and lifted up. Ezekiel saw you as a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Amen. And we see you as our Savior. Hallelujah. Our King. Hallelujah. You, our Redeemer. Lord, our Hallelujah. Healer. Hallelujah. Yeah, oh, God, our Good Shepherd, yeah. Father God. As we come this morning, God, we thank you for your grace and mercy. Yes. For this is the day that you have made. Yes. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. No matter what the weather is, God, it is the day that you have given us. Yes. For tomorrow is not promised unto us, God. Yes. And you have afforded us another day to bless you, to lift our hands in worship, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And to give you all the glory that you deserve. Father God, to hey, God. You invite you to be in this place today, God. Dwell among us today, Father God. Hallelujah. And let your will be done in our lives, oh God. Help us, Father God, to love each other. Oh God, to reach out to those that are helpless, God. Oh mighty God, those that need you, God. Hallelujah. Remember, oh God, that we should tell them about your love and your grace and your mercy, God. Father God, I pray that you provide for your people today, Jesus. Lord, you know our needs, God, they differ, God. Hallelujah. As our faces differ, God. Hallelujah. But God, we know that you are a provider. You are our good shepherd, Father God. Hallelujah. And this morning, God, as we come together, I pray that you forgive us of all our sins. Wash us, Father God, hallelujah, that our praise and our worship be where we be welcomed by you, God, hallelujah. Hey, oh, my uh, God, uh, as we come together today, God, I pray, Jesus, that you, you bless everything that is said and done today, and that our worship will be accepted in your sight, oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, God. And yes, I pray, yes, God, yes, for the yes. moderator. I pray for the speaker yes. today, God, who will deliver yes. your word, oh God. I pray for fresh anointing on that one dear Father God. And that your word will go out with power, with clarity, God. That your people, God, will be edified. And oh God, the enemy will be horrified, oh God. Father God, I thank hallelujah. you again for this another day. Thank you, God. And 
by your presence among us today, God. Remember those that are sick, God. Pray, God, that you will heal their bodies and yes, their minds, yes. oh God. Give us complete healing, dear Father God, those yes, that are yes, sick and healing, yes, dear God. Yes, In the name of yes. Jesus, Lord. Remember the poor on the street today, God. Jesus, hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember them, God, eating out of the garbage pan, Father yes. God. Lord, I pray you send help for them, God, I pray. Remember those in the hospital with this terrible virus, God, and the doctors and the nurses, God, and those that work in that situation, God, I pray for them, that you'll cover them under your blood, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, God. Remember the leader of this country, God. Lord, I pray, God, that he will seek your face in whatever he's doing, God. And I pray, God, that those that work along him, God, Lord Jesus, that you will change their hearts, so God. Their evil hearts, Jesus, those that have evil hearts, God, I pray you change them. Oh, Father God, that we can live in peace and harmony, God. Hallelujah. Bless your people today, God, wherever they are. Bless born again, united, Jesus. Help us to be united as our name is, oh God. Help us to love you with our whole heart, not just from the bottom of our heart, but our whole heart, God, our entire being. Oh, God, and I pray, Father, God, that you would bless and touch each one today, God. Give our pastor fresh anointing, God, that he can lead us the way that you want him to lead us. Father, God, in the name of Jesus, bless your people today, God. In Jesus' name I pray. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, people of God. The Lord. This morning lesson is, lesson is taken from Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They look unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, he is saint, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desired life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut them off, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and deliver them out of all their trouble. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such be as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Here is the reading of the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I bought two terrible and I forgot them at home. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Let's put our hands together right now in Jesus' name. The Lord reigneth. The Lord reigneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for the Lord our God, omnipotent, he reigns in majesty, hallelujah, the Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth, hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord, oh, for the Lord. On me, protect. He reigns in majesty. Hallelujah. 
You've got to know Jesus Christ. And I bless the Lord today. Just want to greet all of you. Amen. Those in the house today. Amen. Those on Facebook, those on Zoom, just want to greet you in the matchless and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I greet you in this name, for there is none other name on the heaven given among men whereby we 
must be saved. It is at the name of Jesus that every knee must bow. I said it's at the name of Jesus that every tongue will confess. It's not a maybe, but it will happen because Jesus Christ is Lord. I want to greet my pastor. Amen. I want to greet Sister Pauline. Hallelujah. I just want to greet my husband. Amen. And all the saints of God, I was away. It started out to be one week, but I extended it, and I had a wonderful time. Amen. Down there in Georgia, I really had a good time with my friend of over 43 years. Amen. And I just want to thank the Lord for her. Amen. Just want to thank God for his blessings that God just knows how to orchestrate. Sometimes things just happen and it seems very simple. But it is God at work. Amen. Amen. Somebody preached that message one. God is always up to something. Yeah even when you don't think so, even when you, 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 things are going, you know, topsy-turvy and they seem to be out of whack. God is up to something. And I just want to bless him today. Amen. I thank him for the joy that I feel deep down in my soul. I thank him for journey mercy. I thank him just for being God. Amen. And I bless you today. Amen. These are our announcements. Amen. 7 p.m. this evening will be our intercessory prayer via Zoom. On Wednesday will be our Bible study. We will join our sister church, amen, in Kissimmee, Florida for their Bible study, also via Zoom. Amen. Friday is our designated day of fasting. And again, we ask everyone to be a part of that. Amen. I cannot stress that enough. Amen. Be a part of the fasting. I believe when we when we do things as one single unit, amen, then there will be success. Amen. And at 8 p.m. on Friday, amen, is our youth and young adult session. Amen. And again, we ask you to be a part of that. All I put all of the meeting IDs for all of our services in Zoom. I put it in the chat. And on Facebook, I already put it in the comments. So make note of that, amen. So you will have what you need to be a part of these services. Next week, Sunday, we will revert back to Zoom, amen. And of course, you already have that information in the chat and in the comments. If you would like to give to Born Again, we encourage you to do so. We believe that giving is a part of our worship. Giving is a part of worship. Amen. And so we invite you to do so via cell at 914-987-4803, at Cash App at BAUC Apostolic, or via PayPal at paypal.me slash BAUCNY. Today, I want to encourage you to invite you to have a great day with Jesus. We want you to just let go and let God, if you Amen. came with baggage, if you came feeling down and out, if you are on Zoom or Facebook, looking for, searching for, seeking for, yeah. today you will find it. The word of God already says it, that if you seek, you will find. That's yeah. the type of God that we not. And so today I encourage you amen, to open up your heart, open up your mind, open up your spirit and receive what God smile upon you. May you have you. Amen. After this, our pastor will be coming to us. God bless him as he come and let God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And we bless the Lord, everyone. Amen. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hey, God. Hallelujah. For the Lord our God is omnipotent. He both is omnipotent. Ah, God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. And he reign in majesty. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Aren't we privileged this morning to have Amen. that God? As our God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no God Lord. like our God. Amen. He's the only wise God. Amen. He's glorious in holiness. Amen. Fearful in praises and he do wonderful things. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap your hands this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Halleluj
Oh, what a good God. Yeah. What a good God. Praise thy name. Thank you, God. The rock of my salvation. Yes. Yeah. I will. Yeah. I will magnify. Hallelujah. I'd like to greet our elders, Elder Anthony and Elder Mushet, if he's on, and all of our workers, missionaries, evangelists, and and all of the deacons, the workers in the vineyard. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to greet my wife this morning. Praise God. I believe with all of my heart the blessing that the Lord has brought in our lives. Amen. At this hour. And we want to thank God for what he's doing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just to bring you up to date, we uh, two weeks ago at, 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 at the inaugural convocation in which uh, Bishop Leslie Josiah Barnes was moved to the office of presiding prelate and his assistant is Dr. Rennie Mullins. Amen. And we had a good time in that meeting, praise the Lord. And um, we were assigned to new task, praise God. And somebody would call it promotion, I right? call it a privilege given to us, amen, to take on new task, amen. Um, now move to overseer, praise the Lord. And I, uh, already I'm seeing the challenges. <laughs> I'm seeing the challenges. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But there are many of us, and, and I know, you know, our, our folks know that, you know, we do the work of God regardless of the positions <laughs> and the titles and, and all of that kind of stuff, because that's, that's what really matters, really. Amen. Praise God. The Bible did describe, you know, that the different levels of offices and some evangelists. And, and of course, you know, they said we should commit good gifts and um, all of that is in place. But if we are given a chance to work for the Lord, amen, we want to, by the help of the Lord, do it to the best of our ability. Amen. And so I thank God for the privilege to be a part of what is happening. Amen? Amen. I want to tell you that, you know, I've, I've been in there in the meetings and I, I do believe, I, I'm very optimistic as to, you know, where the Lord will take us with this new entity. Amen? Amen. Um, don't, don't, don't take, you know, maybe, maybe I should leave that until I preach a message, but <laughs> praise the Lord. Anything that we do for God, there's challenge. This challenge, but those of us who understand that the God that we serve never leave us nor forsake us. Yeah, yeah we're gonna come out all right. Amen. Yeah, is there somebody with me this morning? Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Let me tell you, it's futile if you try to live a life without challenge, because life itself is a challenge. Yes. Unless you don't want life, praise the Lord. I'm sure all of us want life, but amen. We have the edge above the world. Amen. We have the edge above those who think that they can do that all by himself. For the Lord of hosts is with us. And the God of Jacob is our refuge and our strength. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this day, the day that you have made. Oh God, what a privilege to be a part of what you're doing in your day. Oh God, oh, we are here in this house, Lord, house, Lord Jesus. But there are others elsewhere, God, that are tuned into us this morning to hear a word from you. God, I believe that if you speak, somebody will hear the word. Oh, that's most relevant for the hour. I pray, God, for an unction. Oh, God, anoint us, God, with the anointing. Oh, God, that will deliver the message. Yes, God, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. God will come against every power of darkness that would want to distract and, and divide and, and stop us, God. But through God, we shall do valiantly for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. And so in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, we thank you already, God, for a word that we need this morning as we give you the praise and the honor and the glory. 
In Jesus' name, we pray. I must say, to those that are on Facebook, I, you know, my sister is actually in Kingston, and she's on, and I'm sure, amen, my sister, by marriage, amen, praise the Lord, I'm sure she's on, and they they, they delight in, in, in worshiping with us, and I thank God for them. Whoever you are this morning, I might not be able to recognize you because I'm not seeing all the names, but I want to say wherever you are, Europe, Africa, Jamaica, across the, the seas, praise the Lord, from north to south. We are happy to have you with us this morning. Let's thank God for the privilege and ask God to bless us. Amen. As we share the word of the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. My text is taken from a number of scriptures here that I want to use to support what I feel in the spirit this morning. Psalms 34 and verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Somebody say all. Not just some, but all. Acts chapter 7, verse 9 through 10. And Stephen being stoned, speaking. And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt, but God was with him. And he delivered him out of all his affliction and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him the governor over Egypt and all his throne. Acts chapter 20, verse 23 through 24 says, Save that Holy Ghost. Save rather that the Holy Ghost witnessed in every city, saving that one on a fiction abide with me. But none of these things moved me, or moved me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. And the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 2 through 4. And send Timothy as our brother and minister of God, and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man shall be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. For verily, when we are we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation. Even as it came to pass, we know. Praise the Lord. Affliction. Affliction is, is a word that we must consider. Because if, if, if we see it, we experience it on a, on a daily basis. I, I mean, every last one of us has experienced some kind of affliction. And from definition, the word affliction is something that causes pain and, and suffering. And suffering. You, you wonder why we suffer. You know, you wonder why, you know, we, 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 we ache and, 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 and have pain. Not just necessarily sometimes the physical pain and like a toothache or a headache, but there, sometimes there's a heartache. Sometimes there is a an ache that, that, that we can't even shake sometimes until we get on our knees. But thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. We have a central that's never busy. Yeah. Oh, and he's always on the line. And we can talk to Jesus in our moments of affliction almost any time. Oh, it, it's a royal service. 
praise the Lord. It, it's better than AT&T, and, and it, it, it's better than uh, whatever carrier, Verizon, and, and all of these good entities that are out there, because you can talk to Jesus. Oh, almost any time. Uh, you, you know, we have to dialogue on, on any one of these services, but just just uh, begin to now think about what the Lord has done for you. Now, just begin to praise him. Uh, you don't have to know the number. Oh, you just have to have a praise. Oh, you don't have to, to remember or, 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 or have, a, have a list of contact to call. To, uh, oh, because you know who you're talking to. Hallelujah. He makes it available. So as soon as you are ready, oh, by virtue of you wanting to talk to him, you have access to him. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in our afflictions, we can call on him. Praise the Lord. The writer of Psalms in, in its most of, of the Psalms was done by David. And so David typifies or his life had afflictions, struggles from, seem like from the get-go. Hallelujah. God sent the prophet Samuel to his house to anoint a king. And David was looked over. Oh, have you ever been looked over? Oh, praise the Lord. David was not considered in those that God would even choose. Even by the man of God, he had, he had a problem. Oh, his father had him taking care of the sheep. He was a shepherd boy, but all the other brothers were praying before the prophet because as far as they were concerned, he was not qualified. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. So his life begins in an obscurity. His life begins uh, in a way where, you know, if he were a person that had any complex, inferiority complex, the situation would have just helped. But let me tell you something. God knows where you are this yeah. morning. Yeah. God knows what afflictions you're going through this morning. I feel like somebody need to hear this this morning, that God is zeroing on you this morning. Uh, God, and no matter how many have passed you over, God says you are the one this morning. God says you are my selected. God says you are my chosen this morning. I wish somebody would touch yourself on the shoulder and say, I'm chosen of God this morning. Oh, hallelujah. I'm a royal priesthood. Oh, I'm a peculiar person this morning because God has chosen me out of darkness and he has brought me into his lives. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. David's life would have taken him, hallelujah, with the anointing now. He gets the anointing. And somebody thinks that when the anointing comes, the affliction is over. Oh, hallelujah. But when you are anointed, it seems like the, the, the door of affliction is open. Oh, praise be the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, this anointed David now comes and watch uh, Israel uh, being afflicted by the enemy. Oh, but he knows who God is because the, the, the enemies were, were now roaring like uh, Goliath. They were saying that they want a man because they now wanted to intimidate Israel. But David, hallelujah, who know who God is. They who know that the God that he serves is a God who helped him to tear the lion apart. Have you ever had an experience with God? I know that you can tell anybody about this God that you serve. I serve him because I know who he is. When I was nothing, he made me to be something. Oh, Hallelujah. He lifted me up from the miry clay. He planted my feet on the rock to stay. That's the reason why I sing and I shout for joy. Let me tell you, my Savior came down. Oh, hallelujah. He's a God that knows how to come down. Came down and he lifted me up. Hallelujah. Yeah. He lifted me up. Songwriter 
said, I've been planting my feet on a rock to stay. Oh, hallelujah, this morning. Mm. David, now in his righteous indignation, was so moved by what Goliath was saying, send me a man. But we know the God who delivered the sheep out of the mouth of the lion. And the God who delivered him and gave him the strength, hallelujah, to tear his enemy apart. Oh, God, some of us have already torn the enemy apart because you know that God is able to do that. Let me see your praise in the morning, but you know that the God that you served, he's almighty, he's omnipotent, he's omniscient. Oh, he is the all-powerful God this morning, and he can rip apart every enemy device for you this morning. Oh, Glory to God. And so when the enemy comes up at you and want to mock you and want to cheer you, tell him that I come to you in the name of the Lord. His brother said, we know you are not. Because you should have been home taking care of the sheep. But because you want to find out what's going on, you come. Hey, hey, oh, praise you, the Lord. Hey, when, when God is leading you, other people have other things to say. Oh, praise, because this day was set up by God. Yes, the Israelites had a challenge. They didn't know where to turn. But God knows what he had planned for the day. Oh, God has set up the day when everybody else can't do anything. Oh, when you tried everything and everything else failed. But you know that God has a plan. Oh, hallelujah. You tried all that you want. You tried all that you can. You tried everybody that you know has resources and they fail. But the God that we serve, hallelujah. Oh, we need a slumber in our sleep. The Lord that we serve is the keeper of our soul. For the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Oh, let me tell you this morning, the Lord is our shade. The Lord is our keeper this morning. The Lord will keep you in times of trouble, in times of affliction. This God shows up. This God, hallelujah, comes with 10,000 of his saints. But the Lord of hosts is with us. And the God of Jacob is all right Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. It's about time since we know God has been good to us in our future. No, to tell the enemy that you are coming to him in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. David had five stones. And he, all he needed was to use was one stone. Hallelujah. The enemy comes with armor, with swords, and and then and all of the protective arm. But David came in the name of the Lord. Amen. One stone. And, and maybe it's okay for us to say he used the, the, the letter J. Because there's no other name that Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. The, the entire name is powerful. So you can use any letter in the name. David used one stone and, and took out the enemy. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. You can take out the enemy this morning in the name of Jesus. You know the story well. Praise God. But, but that didn't, didn't, David killed Goliath, amen? 
cut off his neck. Amen. Because the Lord delivered him out of that trouble. I will hurry to say to you this morning that when God delivers you out of one trouble, just be prepared that there are many troubles ahead of you. Amen. David now stirred up jealousy amongst the person that is leading him, that put him on the run. Saul became jealous of David. Oh, because the people begin to sing that Saul has slain a thousand, but David has slain tens of thousands. When God promotes you, when God promotes you, somebody's going to see. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to shout it. Somebody's going to talk about it. Hallelujah. But I, I wonder, I wonder, you know, in all of this, God has a way of making his servant. He has a way of, you know, not allowing that to get to his head. Amen. Because that shouting and promotion, hallelujah, created problems for yeah. him. There's some good affliction. Yes. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody, somebody might not agree with me. But David's affliction helped him to recognize yeah. God. Amen. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. I, I, I would testify to you this morning that some of the things that I've experienced in my life, I never would have planned or accept that that's the way my life should go. Amen. Amen. That's true. But those afflictions, I thank God for them this morning. Yes, yes. yes, I thank God for them. I thank God for the mountains and the valleys. I thank Him for the storms. It's from the sun. So if I never had a problem. Ah, I wouldn't know how God could solve them. See, we, we need to know how God could solve them. You know, we, we know that he can solve them, but we don't know how he can solve them. Praise the Lord. Oh, and, and, and we will never know how God is going to solve it because God just do his thing God's way. Amen. And the God way does not make sense sometimes to us. The God way, hallelujah, sometimes create all kinds of, you know, questions and, 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 and frustration. But when, 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 when it is done, and the Bible says he delivers them. As I listened, as I prepared this week, and I was doing my devotion, I, you know, I, I got interested in this because... The, the, the person who gave his comments says, but makes what precedes the bus, the but inferior to what precedes the bus. What was before the but is superseded by what follows the bus. Yeah. The, the, the afflictions are many. Yeah. And when you think about the afflictions, uh, of whatever sort they are, they make you feel afraid. Yeah. They make you feel discouraged. Yeah. They make you feel intimidated. Yeah. But but says, but now puts you on the other side. Yeah. For what but brings you into it says that the Lord delivers you. Yeah. Oh. oh, hallelujah. Come on now, church. I said, the Lord will deliver you out of what was there, all of the afflictions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I could tell you all of the stories about David, how he ran away from Saul, uh, how he hid things. The Lord delivered him. Oh, hallelujah. I can tell you the stories. As a matter of fact, this particular scripture was read, it was written when David was was running from uh, his son, and he went down hallelujah, into, into the Philistines' camp. Yep. Oh, praise the Lord. He was in the enemy's camp, yep. oh, running away from his son. Yep. But all, all of all, all, about all his experiences, he could say, many are my afflictions, but I can tell you 
devil. Somebody ought to look at the devil this morning and say, come on, devil, with your affliction. I know who I believe. I'm not persuaded that he's a deliverer this morning. Oh, yes, he's a deliverer. I know that. And he will deliver us out of all our sweat. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh, hallelujah. You see, there, there are people who say, you know, God delivered me out of this, but he didn't deliver me out of, out of that. Oh, praise the Lord. That's because you really want God to deliver you the way you want him to deliver you. God didn't do it just the way you want him to do it. But oh, when God's record is clearly seen, when you climb up to the realization, oh, I give a bit the way you thought that God should have done it this way. And now oh, you were looking for God to do it that way. But God did it his way. And when God did it his way, my way was the wrong way at all the time. Even though I convinced myself that my way was the right way. Oh, well, when God gets done with the situation, I have to shout a praise. That's why I got to praise this morning when I've got to get it out. Because when God gets into the situation, messed up my way, changed my way, and inserts his way. Hey, let me tell you something. God lives me. God makes me a better person this morning. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I want you to notice when, when, these, when, these, when these scriptures are written, Stephen is being stoned. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. Stephen, praise the Lord, has been preaching, he has been selected. He has been selected as one of the deacons. And, that, and because he, praise the Lord, hallelujah, because, because he is preaching and Paul is now making havoc of the church, yes. Stephen becomes a victim. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. The church that began on the day of Pentecost with such outbursts, was now being persecuted. And Stephen became one of those who was persecuted. To the extent where he was now stoned to death. But Stephen would testify, even though he knew he was going to die in that affliction. You know, testifies, and in his testimony, he goes back to the patriarchs who sold Joseph into slavery. That was, those were his brothers. Oh, that 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 put some weight on that kind of affliction. Because Joseph now, you know, in his what we call being naive told his brother what the Lord showed him. You know, and they they got the interpretation right. Yeah. Because they said, you are the younger brother. Are you saying that we are going to serve you? We are going to bow down to you? But that's what the Lord says. And no matter how many pit you put me in, that's what the Lord says. Oh, no matter how many traps you make, you can't kill me. No weapon, no. Oh, for no weapons formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. They put him in a pit. And in my imagination, I'm, I'm thinking about how oh, they put him in a pit. Because if they had put him in a, a shallow pit, he could have come out by himself. But they put him in something that must have been deep enough that they had to help him out. Praise the Lord. But in the process of him getting in there, I can imagine that he must have 
hurt himself. Oh, although God, God has a way that you can, you, you, you know, you can fall from the sky <laughs> and God can cushion the fall. But, but, but one of the things that, that really jumped out at me is that the Midianites were coming from up Jordan and up Jericho, and they were going down to Egypt, where God has designated to promote Joseph. Oh, God, I've heard Egypt was not the place that Joseph would have stood in. Amen, that's true. Can, can you hear me this morning? If it were left up to Joseph, he would not have selected Egypt for where God would have promoted him. But God had selected Egypt for where he was going to do his thing. Praise the Lord. But I noticed the Israelites were carrying with them balm from Gilead. Praise the Lord. One of the things that they were taking from Jericho down to Egypt to sell on the market was balm from Gilead. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And you know, you know, you know what, what the balm means? That means that if David had, uh, Joseph had broken or uh, uh, had uh, any kind of a hurt, uh, God had been provision with the Midianites or the Israelites, balm. Oh God, I wonder if somebody understands what I'm trying to say. Even when you are afflicted, God will have sought somebody has something to help you in your Amen. Oh God. Oh, you see, the earth is the Lord. Somebody ought to understand that. And the fullness thereof. Oh God. It did not might not necessarily be the person that's in church that has the solution. It might not be necessarily your brother or your sister, but God has a provision for you anyhow. Oh, hallelujah. And these Midianites, these Israelites took him down into Egypt. And on the journey, if he ever had a cut on his foot that was hurting him, God had provided with them all the bomb in Gilead. Oh, what if there's somebody here that knows that God is our bomb in Gilead this morning? Oh, hallelujah. Whatever your afflictions you're going to, our God is a bomb. In Gilead. Oh, it might not be in church. It might be on the job that you were afflicted. But oh, you have the bomb in Gilead with you. Oh, hallelujah. It might be on your journey somewhere. But oh, the Lord of hosts is with you. And he is the bomb in Gilead. Oh, what about fictions you might have this morning? The bomb in Gilead. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, the, 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 one of the outstanding things about the life of Joseph was they noticed that wherever he went, God was with him. <laughs> oh, God. You know, there are some of us who want God to go with us selectively. And so if, if I'm going to be in a certain class of people, you know, if, 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 if I'm going to be with certain elitist kind of people, I don't want them to know that God is with me. I don't even want them to know that I'm a Christian. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> but, but, but Pharaoh recognized that there was another spirit with Joseph, that God was with him. I want us to understand that the world, no matter how successful they look, on whatever level they are, they can see something in you of God that they don't have. Amen. 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 Something in you of God that they need. Yes. Oh, praise the Lord. For even though Egypt had the magicians and had the money and the fame and the status, they could not interpret the dream for Pharaoh. Yep. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. In your affliction, that's when God shows up to show out. Oh, God. Of In your affliction, that's when God shows up to show out. Oh, he, he was in prison. If you, you want me to give you the story. But that's where Joseph was. In an affliction in prison. 
And not only was he in prison, but he was a forgotten prisoner. Oh, have you ever been felt like you've been forgotten and nobody remembers you? Oh, praise the Lord. But you might not remember me, but God remembers me. Oh, hallelujah. God does not forget us. And when the right time, on the process of time, when God's time was right, when everything was set, oh, God doesn't remember me because the thing is not yet ready. The time is not set. But when the time is set for God to promote you and to allow the king of Egypt, the king of the world, to see God, God is going to remember you. God is going to make the king send for you. God is going to make a hallelujah. The one who is going to promote you, send for you. Oh, you might be in your affliction, but I want to tell you that God will deliver you out of them all. Not only deliver you out of them, but when God gets done with you, if you can endure in your tribulation, God is going to lift you up. God is going to place you on higher ground. But they are, told you folks, not only delivered from prison, but he was brought before Pharaoh. He was promoted not only to be uh, uh, not a servant in Pharaoh's house, uh, but he was promoted uh, above everybody else. Oh, if you can stay in your affliction and serve God, hey, hey, you need the Holy Ghost in your affliction, because in your affliction, the Holy Ghost has a way of giving you a shout. The Holy Ghost has a way of giving you what it takes. And the Holy Ghost has a way of giving you something about the ordinary that will take you to your situation, to your afflictions. Amen. He's going to take you from the prison and he's going to lift you. Ah, he's going to lift you up. He's going to place you on higher ground. Somebody's going to shout. Somebody's going to praise the Lord. Oh, God. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Oh, when he promotes you, he does a comprehensive job. But oh, Guess what's gonna make you ready? The afflictions. Oh, hallelujah. He was afflicted, but God was with him. Oh, God, he was afflicted because his brethren were gonna need him. He was afflicted. Oh, God. Oh, when you were afflicted, understand that somebody's gonna need you. Oh, when you were afflicted, understand that somebody's gonna see God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Don't. Killed him, it's gonna need you. Don't do that, killed you. It's gonna need you. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. His brethren that sold him to save us were gonna need him. Amen. That's right. God used his affliction because they meant it for evil. But God was at work, meant it for good. There is no purpose in your life without affliction. And there are those of us. And even go to the extent of cursing God. You know? Oh, God of mercy. My heart ached this morning. My heart ached this morning because the enemy would have robbed some people to think that the only person that you can blame in your affliction is God. Oh, but I thank God this morning that he has given us the understanding. Mm, like Moses. Moses was not a true convert when he left Egypt. But when he met God, 
He was persuaded by nothing. Fully, fully persuaded. Hallelujah. Some of us start with what our parents teach us. And so was Moses. His mother taught him about the Jehovah who made yes. promises. But that same Jehovah showed up for him yes, on the backside of the desert. Yes. Hey. <laughs> you don't have to know it all. Just have a, a love and want for God. Yeah. And a hunger and a thirst for God. Yeah. And he will bring you into a situation where he can redeem himself Amen. to you. Amen. In your tribulation, if you're going through one right now, let me tell you, that might just be the moment when God will reveal himself to you. I'm, I'm closing with, with Paul this morning. I'm closing with Paul. But Paul would now write to the church in the book of Acts. And, uh, Acts is telling of, about Paul's writing. And then Luke would have, would have brought it into the book of Acts. And Paul would have written it to the church. In, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. To Paul, the church was the biggest obstacle. And so if he could find anything to destroy the church, he was going to go to Gamela to get authority. Or not Gamela, he was going to get letters of authority to destroy the church. Amen. He, he wanted a permit to destroy the church. You know, these days, if you want to demolish a building in the city, you have to get a permit. For Paul, he had to go to the Roman governor or, or the authority of the day to, to get the authority to demolish the church. Oh, God. Mm. Hallelujah. So though the church were the ones in affliction, because here this man, Paul, gets authority and permits to do a demolition on them. And while Paul was executing his desire, God met him. Yes, sir. An encounter. Oh, oh God. An encounter with God. Yes. Let's see how those who desire an encounter with God this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, God will, God will meet you somewhere. Oh, God. When God was done with him, Paul said, What thou, Lord, that I persecuted? God, God just took him, pulled him up, and turned him around, and sent him with a revelated new direction, the right direction. And this Paul now is propagating the gospel. He's become an evangelist. Praise you, the Lord. Yeah. But the same Paul who was putting infliction on the church was now experiencing what he did. He had to be hiding. As a matter of fact, in, in, in the context where or the scripture, we, when you read this verse that I read to you, Paul stated that he, he, he had to be he, uh, handed down over the wall in a basket yes, yes. because they were looking for him to kill him. Amen. Oh, praise you, the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, but he was determined anyhow. Yeah. In your affliction, the thing that is going to help you to come up is determination. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Saints of God, we've got to determine that we're going to live for God. Yes, yes, right. We've got to have a determination that we're going to live for God. Yes, right. Oh, God. And when your determination gets up to heaven, God will respond mm -hmm. accordingly. Ah. Right. Yes. You see, we, we want God to respond before we make the decision mm -hmm. to be determined. Mm -hmm. But we have to be determined first so that God will respond to our determination. Because if God finds you determined, 
He's going to work with you. That's right. I say he's going to work with you. Yeah. Oh, uh, you want to be a, an, an, an affliction buster? You want to be one that can break the affliction? You've got to have a determination like Paul. Yeah. But Paul said, none of these things move me. Hallelujah. That's determination. You can, you, you, you can come with a storm. You, you, you can rake up hell if you want. You can, you can bring down every devil in hell. But none of these things move me. Neither do I count my life dear unto myself. Oh, God. Hallelujah. That's some kind of determination. Yes. <laughs> oh, what really matters to me is not really my life. But, but I have made a choice. I've made my choice forever. Oh, I will walk with Christ my Lord. Not from him my soul can sever. Oh, while I'm trusting in his word. For I, the lowly way, have taken rough and toilsome though it be. And although despised, forsaken, ah, Jesus. Somebody ought to come with me. Jesus. I'll go through. Need I do I count my life dear unto myself so that I might finish my course? Oh God, hallelujah. There's a finish line. Oh, there is somewhere that we are going. Oh, it's not over until God says it's over. There is a finish line. But God likes to do a finish work, you know that. God said God likes to finish it up. So if you feel like you're not finished yet, God is still working on you. But when God gets done with you, you shall come out with pure gold. As pure gold. And Paul said, I must finish the course. I'm not doing any abortion here. I'm not stopping halfway at the journey. But I'm going through. They have planned to kill me and I know it. They have planned to cut off my neck and I know it. But I'm going up to Rome because somebody up there need to know the God that I serve. Somebody up there need to know that the God that I serve is able. Oh, hallelujah. He left the splendor of heaven. Oh, uh, we don't have to be reactive Christians. You know, some of us feel everything we do. We react to the things that we see coming out of it. Whatever people say of us, we are ready to react. Oh, praise you, the Lord. But we have got to be objective in the things that we do. Paul was objective here. He says, none of these things move me. Oh, you know what he said in previous scripture? He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation. Oh, hallelujah. When we are persuaded about the things of God, when we are persuaded about the gospel, oh, hallelujah. We don't have to be, be intimidated by how anybody look. Oh, you, got, you don't have to be intimidated by what anybody's saying. Oh. God have mercy. You don't have to be intimidated about the stock market or what will happen tomorrow. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, God has control on everything. Oh, do you know that God's fingers on everything? And when God is ready, he will move things for you. Oh, in your favor, he will lift you up. He will establish you. So Paul says, I am determined to hold out to the end. I am determined me to, to go to the finish. I wonder if I can uh, help somebody here this morning. Uh, oh, you have started on the journey. Uh, some of you feel weak in your feet. Uh, some of you feel weak in your loins. Uh, oh, tap yourself on the loin and say, in the name of Jesus, come with me, my loins. Uh, tap yourself on the feet and say, come with me, my feet. Uh, my a journey. I must pursue. I must go through to the end. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, none of these things, none of these things move me, for I must finish the course. Oh, he writes now to Timothy and he says, the time of my departure has come. Oh, when your course is finished, you can write like Paul. The time
time of my departure has come. Notice that he did not use the word get, because that was only a transition for Paul. And Paul said, the time of my departure has come. And then for it is laid up for me, a crown of life. Oh, hallelujah. But Paul wasn't selfish in what he was saying. He wants you to say to him. He said, as many of us, as many of us that will pursue our course, as many of us that will stay with God, uh, withstand the affliction, live God, live for him, regardless of the situation and the circumstances. You can say the time for a fight, good fight. Oh, hallelujah. You will see this life is a fight, but at the end you have to get to say a fight, good fight. Ah, hallelujah. Some people have fought in the battle, but they have lost the battle. But Paul was a winner. Those who are determined are going to be winners. Those who are determined can proclaim winner. Ah, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. I fought a good fight. I've kept the faith. Henceforth is laid up for me. A crown of life. Afflictions, yes, but none of these move me. Because I'm determined. It's all down to me. I believe that there are some people under the sound of my voice this morning, right now, there in Facebook. Oh God, our Zoom. Uh, you have become perplexed with what's going on. Yeah. Oh God, have mercy. I was in church this morning and I had a mask on and I'm, I'm saying Samson slew the Philistines with a job on of an ass. Oh God, I need a freedom on my job on to give God praise this morning. Oh, somebody need to understand that we are muzzled with these masks because of the, the pandemic. But let me tell you, church, uh, as much as we are obeying and we want, and let me take it, let's obey uh, the rules and do what's right so that we don't kill ourselves. But we need to now say we have a God that can bring us out of this affliction. We have a God that can change the situation so that we can open up our mouth and slew and, and slay the enemy with the praise of our lips. Hallelujah. He's not going to shut us down. Oh, uh, if they know we have not going to praise him anyhow. Oh, praise the Lord. But oh, I pray to God that we'll be liberated from these muscles. Yes, yes, I pray to God that God will give us a day when we can come and shout the praises of God and take down the enemy. Oh, I've got a praise in my mouth. My praise is my weapon this morning. Oh, hallelujah. For the enemy needs to know that our God is the great I am. The enemy needs to know who that is, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. The enemy needs to know that our God is able to do exceedingly Abundantly above that which we may have, so I think all the enemy needs to know that I'm a child of God, so we can proclaim it up, shout it from the mountain top, proclaim it in the city street. Tell where you go. Hallelujah. Tell everything that Jesus Christ ever Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes! The only one that has the remedy is God. I hope you recognize that all it says is not confused. Yes. But God has already remedy. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And saints of God, we're going to praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. For we are determined that none of these things, yes. though we are afflicted, none of these things are going to move us. Oh, yes. oh hallelujah.
Uh, can I encourage somebody here this morning who might be going through something? I'm not taking it lightly. Yeah. Amen. That you're gonna you're gonna be shouting just like that. But but I want to encourage you from yeah. the word of God yeah. that this God has a track record yeah. to deliver them yeah. out of it all. Yeah. Oh praise the Lord. Out of it all. So if you're under the sound of my voice this morning as we are closing, I'd like to give you the opportunity to give the deliverer out of it all an opportunity to deliver you this morning. Oh, praise the Lord. Mm. Oh, God. Please, God. Please, God. Hallelujah. 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 If you are in the house this morning, you're going through your affliction. There's a God who delivers out of it all. Amen. We don't have to, you know, break the protocol. The God that we serve, <clears throat> he has a long hand. I can observe any social distance and, and, and reach to you into your situation. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. But if you desire that we would put the oil on you this morning, you want to stand in the house. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is anybody here that we need to pray for? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your afflicted state, Yes. God has brought you here for this hour. And we would like to pray with you this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. We can do this closeness to you on Facebook or Zoom. But if you have the oil in your house, just put some oil on you this morning. Yes, let's put some oil on you this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, wherever you are this morning, we're going to be praying in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs salvation. There cannot be a more severe affliction than to be in sin. Man was afflicted with death because of sin. But God is a deliverer out of it. That affliction this morning. If you want to be saved. Yes, if you want to be saved. Yes. God has made a provision for you this morning. I'm praying this morning. I'm praying this morning. I have a say to you. If you need healing this morning, hallelujah. If you need healing this morning, for you, I am praying. I'm praying for you this morning. I'm praying for you this morning. I'm praying for you this morning. For you, I'm praying. I am 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 praying. I for you, I am praying. I am praying. For you, I am praying. I am praying. I am praying. Oh, yes, I am praying. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for this moment. Yes, Jesus. You are the deliverer out of them all. Yes. Out of them all. Whatever. Whatever the situation, God, 
Oh God, your word is already established. Yes, Jesus. Oh God, is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes. And we cut to the dividing of asunder. Oh God, and somebody needs to be set free from the shackles of sin this morning. Hallelujah. To be delivered from the affliction of sin this morning. Oh God. So God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that thou would save to the angle, save such a person this morning. God, deliver that person that needs a touch of healing upon their life this morning. Oh God, for you're the healer, you're the bomb and give you that. Oh God, I pray this morning. Oh God, for every person under the sound of my voice and oh those who might not be hearing me this morning but need a touch from you this morning. I pray God that thou will bless in abundance, oh God, and send forth victory yes, into God. the light of your people. Yes, yes God. So that they too can attest, Hallelujah. oh God, to those who are gone before to say you are a deliverer out of it all. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you the glory and the honor, the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.